Hi everybody, I am James Wiebe with Radiant Instruments uh, and I'm here today to discuss uh, my latest R&D project. Uh, I am thrilled to say that I've been working on the development of a de-icing system in, in cooperation with uh, Compare, uh, who is, uh, has been introducing their new sixth place uh, Compare 6.2 uh, to the market. It is an enormous sixth place uh, experimental uh, airplane uh, truly beautiful and uh, uh, amazing. It has both uh, high performance uh, turbocharged piston engine or a turbine option. Uh, and it can go high and uh, that's kind of uh, why I got involved too. Uh, I was uh, asked to participate in the development of a de-icing system for the 6.2. And today it's time to show a little bit of uh, uh, a report card as to what it is that I've been up to. So I've developed uh, uh, various pieces of electronics and uh, circuitry that allows an electromagnetic pulse to deform the skin of an airplane. This principle is widely known and was being researched here in Wichita, Kansas uh, as early as the 1970s. Uh, variations of this kind of technology are currently uh, in play or in use on a variety of different kinds of aircraft around the world. Um, in general, the theory is, is that if you discharge enough current through a coil, you can create what's called an eddy current in an aluminum skin that's close by. This eddy current will oppose the force of the electromagnetic, electromagnet that you've just created and try and get away. The resulting force or energy deforms the skin, thus breaking off the ice. There's a couple of other ways to do it as well with the... Uh, 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 with electromagnetic pulses. Uh, uh, not all of these rely on eddy currents, but this is the approach that I've taken as it's kind of tried and true, and it was, it was a good one to uh, refresh the technology with uh, uh, the way that I've organized it, uh, and uh, uh, hopefully some clever things that uh, make it more efficient uh, and uh, less expensive. The uh, the amount of force that we're talking about here is very large, um, and I'm going to have some demonstrations of that uh, in, uh, in these videos that I'm publishing. But uh, to give you an idea of just how much uh, electricity we're talking about here, uh, we're storing energy in some capacitors. Uh, uh, the energy, uh, the voltage level in those capacitors can reach a thousand or more volts, and then we discharge it through a coil. Uh, the uh, discharge is such that uh, the uh, peak current is in the neighborhood of a thousand amps. So do the math, thousand volts times a thousand amps, and we have a peak wattage of literally a million watts being developed uh, in this coil uh, over a period of uh, uh, oh, about a thousandth of a second. Uh, it packs a considerable punch, and I think you'll be uh, quite surprised with how much energy uh, can be put into this particular system. Um, uh, the uh, Okay, I've got some anecdotal uh, proof of that. Let's see here. Oops. Uh, uh, let's see if I can show you. There, if you're looking at all that dings that are on the ceiling there. That's the remnants of various projectiles that I've launched into the ceiling. And uh, I do have some of the hardware that goes into the system in front of me. Uh, so essentially there's a 28 volt bus coming from a power supply. It should be coming from your uh, source on your aircraft. And uh, uh, then a high voltage step up module uh, that I've designed along with a high voltage energy storage module. Uh, the control circuit is not here. Uh, I'm firing it uh, at will using a plain old switch. And then there's an actuator coil that uh, I've designed uh, as well, which is where all the fun happens. So um, the uh, demonstrations that I'm gonna provide for you uh, uh, are, uh, obviously I'm gonna, I'm gonna take uh, an aluminum pan uh, filled with water and uh, uh, at the stroke of a push button, I'm going to demolish all the ice that's in the pan. So 
that's a simulation just of when you get icing on the wing of an aircraft and we can show how you just shatter it off. Then we're going to uh, just shoot uh, aluminum discs into the ceiling. Uh, and I also have a, a sample of carbon fiber. I'm going to put a disc underneath it uh, and uh, shoot that off just to show energy being transferred uh, upward into a carbon fiber sheet. And then for fun, uh, we'll probably uh, blow up an object or two, like a hat that I wear, just so we can see it punch things up into the air. Uh, in any case, I do appreciate uh, you taking the time to watch this and uh, enjoy the uh, demonstration. Um, uh, I'm James Wiebe again with RadiantInstruments.com. Uh, um, thanks. Enjoy. Thank you. 